I think I'm starting something new called like the quarantine chronicles. I don't really know, but um, right now I'm gonna show you the first time that I used the Revlon Pro Collection Salon One Step Hair Dryer and Volumizer. It looks like this, and you've probably seen it or some kind of knockoff floating around the old interwebs lately. Um, I was really never tempted to buy one because I'm addicted to blowouts, being the princess diva that I am. Um, but considering the state of the world right now, I don't know when I'm gonna get to another blowout. So I am taking matters into my own hands because as my nails chip, don't judge me, they're disgusting. And my lashes start to fall out and my Botox starts to wear off. I wanna be left with at least good hair. So I have been promised that this thing is amazing. It cost me $64.99. I will give you my friend's affiliate code if you would like to buy one from Amazon as well. It was here in two days, clearly an essential service. And um, I'm just gonna show you how it works. Let's be clear, I have never used this thing before. I put nothing in my hair and it's hard to see here, but my ha I have a lot of hair. I've had hairdressers tell me it's like doing three people's hair at the same time. So there are three speeds on this bad boy. There is a cool, a low, and a high. And the recommendation is that if you have fine hair or thin hair, you use the um, low setting. Or if you have a mop of hair, then you use high. So I'll be using high. There's also a cooling function. And I won't show you up close what these look like because again, my nails are disgusting. The first thing I'm gonna say is that it's like, it's not a, a small device, okay? This is, a, this is a meaty handful of hair tool. Uh, so we'll see how long I have to do this for because holding this uh, up for longer than like 15 minutes, well, I guess it'll double as a workout. Observation number two, I actually really appreciate not having to use a brush and blow dry at the same time. Next observation, boy, that's fast. Uh, I'm not even a skilled hair blower because I do it so infrequently and already, oh, there's a little section there that I missed, but that is all dry and I think that was about two and a half minutes. So I've done half my head and all of the back in about six minutes, which is insane. And then when I use the cooling function, it flips it where I want it to flip it, but it's not, it's not the same as if you were using a round brush. My only real complaint so far is that it's a bit on the heavy side and I don't like where the, the function buttons are. They're very, very teeny tiny all the way at the bottom. I wish that they were um, in a better spot for my thumb. My thumb, my thumb with terrible nails. Let's do the rest. So 12 minutes later, the verdict is me likey. I am impressed with what I was able to do in 12 minutes on my own. If I had tried to do spend 12 minutes with my blow dryer, and I have a really good one, um, it definitely wouldn't even be close to this dry or this, um, this flat either. So that's pretty good. There's some good volume. I didn't add any products. So this is just straight from wet conditioned hair. Um, and uh, I think it's fantastic all things considered so if you are at home not able to get to the hair hair salon but you want to have nice hair this is a great option or if you're somebody who doesn't want to spend 30 to 60 dollars on a blowout every time you want to um, go out with cute hair this is definitely a contender